I ate that power pellet right there. Go down! I was hitting down. It wasn't letting me go down. Jeez. I can't just help but feel so weird. This is literally just yellow watermelon. Hey, what's up, guys? It's probably not your favorite YouTuber here. And welcome back to Pac-Man. I've actually played Pac-Man before, but that was over a year ago. I know, I can't. If you, For the few of you that were around when my first one came out, I know, it feels like a couple months ago. But, but anyway, time gets faster the older you get. But anyway, so I'm at a new house currently. I'm going to be back in my old one, but the point is that I forgot to bring my tripod. Because at first glance, I keep on thinking of my old tripod, the one that only turns, like, this way. It doesn't actually, like, move up and down or anything like that. I keep thinking of that one, which is far too big to bring. Actually, I may have been able to squeeze it in, but I got a new gray one that can add a new dimension to the camera movement, but yeah, yeah I forgot that it can shrink down and it would easily be able to fit in. I forgot my back scratcher too, which also like gets shorter, and I could use it to press the radio buttons from the back seat so I didn't keep on having to ask the people up front if they could do it because they were either driving or asleep. But anyway, on to Pac-Man. Now, this is on Google. You just type into Google Pac-Man. And here we go. Uh, so I've made it to level 7 on average. Sometimes I only make it to 6. Sometimes I only make it to level 8. Sometimes I only make it to level 9. But I just thought I'm going to give you guys some tips. I hope that you guys can see. I know it's a bit bright. Yeah. But anyway, uh, the pattern that I'm taking right now is always the go-to pattern that I take. Shoot. Okay, I almost screwed up because the ghost almost came back there. But this pattern that I'm taking right now is always the one that I try to take. That blue ghost, see, I thought it was going to try and come back at me. you got to try and get to know the patterns of the ghosts. Now, what you may come to realize is that the ghosts do tend to give you a chance. And if you mess up one key and you hit up when you mean to hit right, like I did twice so far, uh, the ghosts will tend to give you a chance to get away. But don't just use that, Here, whatever. But anyway, level 1 is relatively easy because the ghosts move relatively slow. They're not relatively too clever yet. And uh, they, the power pellets work for a very long amount of time. And I tend to save that. Sometimes there's a glitch like that where you go through a ghost. I tend to save. But I tend to leave that path for last, which is odd because it ends on a power pellet. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, sometimes if you're in a bad situation, like in a future level that I will come to. Sometimes you just have to use that power pellet, which is okay, because it's a power pellet. You're, you shouldn't be saving it till last. But see, like the same pattern that I took at the beginning of the first level I'm taking again, I tend not to try to eat the ghosts, because then their eyes go back to the cage, and then they become ghosts again, and the power pellets don't have any effect on them. But, uh, unless if I'm really close and the ghosts are really, really fast and really, really clever and it's just about to wear off, then some, then some will have to eat a ghost just to get it away from that area and back in the center. If, it, if I'm relatively far from the center, that is a good idea to have. Um, have three lives at the beginning of the game, but if you, if you do very well then you tend to get an extra life. And see, the reason why I hesitated to take that power pellet is so because I knew that, that ghost was going to go back to the cage and then it would come out again. I'm just going to hit pause and replay in case if the footage goes out. Uh, what was well, I saying? Um, so, like, they go back to the cage and then they become ordinary ghosts. So I waited because I knew that I had time for that ghost to come out of the cage so that the new power pellet would have an effect on it. Because if you're sending them back to the cage and they haven't emerged from the cage yet, then if you eat a new power pellet, it won't affect them, unless they just came out of the cage. Now, you gotta know the patterns of the ghosts. The red guy normally chases you. The pink guy tries... Oh, sorry. That's a furnace. The pink guy tries to position itself in front of you. The blue guy kind of switches between the red and the pink. And I meant to go up one more layer. Shoot. See, I got an extra life, though, down there. And the orange ghost claims to be moving randomly, but sometimes it will chase you if it gets close enough. Oh, and in a situation like I was at earlier, if the ghosts do, I tend to try and save the power pellets for like then. If the ghosts do uh, start chasing you and they're getting on you because they do get slightly faster than you eventually, then try and make twists and turns to lose them. And when you can, get through this bridge. Shoot! 
I, I'm not doing well because I'm talking to you guys, but make it through that bridge because sometimes the ghosts will follow you through this passageway, but it tends to but but it tends to take them a long time. I was expecting the game to end there because I'm used to ending it on that. But anyway, okay, what level are we on? Four, five? I don't know. I hope it's five. Anyway, yeah. But yeah, I haven't been given an extra life yet so far. Okay, this is level four. I know, because on level five something different happens. Sometimes the pink ghost will come down here, but then it tends to just it, it tends to just go in there and not actually follow you. So if you if you're taking that path and the pink ghost comes down this way, just keep on following it. It tends not to follow you like that. Shoot Okay, good. This is my last life. Another thing they have to remember is to treat all your lives like they're your final ones. And this dead end here, always get that whenever you have the chance. Not if the ghosts are chasing you and you're sure to be dead, but just whenever you have the chance to, just take it. Sometimes when you go for a power pellet, the ghosts know what's happening and run away, so then try and move away from the power pellet and wait for it to... <sighs> Sometimes there are situations where the ghosts might eat you, in which case you just respawn right here and you can get these final pellets and I'm dead. Well, that's a game over. See, the game over because I ran out of life, so... Let me try that again. So sometimes you you will always respawn here. So if you haven't gotten these pellets and you're about to die, don't worry about getting them yet. You'll just respawn and then you can eat from the right. Ah, oh boy. I didn't do that well because like a lot uh, cause a bit of uh, what I'm doing is this usually doesn't happen, but okay. The blue ghost almost got me. And I don't really care about the points. I just care about getting far in the game. Improving your brain strategy. Oh, I meant to go up one more layer again. Shoot. Yeah, see, like, now isn't a good time to go into the dead end, but I'm going to do it anyway, because it's level one, and I'm not that quick. I didn't want to eat that ghost. Uh, it worked out because he went a longer path to get to the center there. When you got a patch of pellets that you're leaving, don't worry about it. Just figure it out. Just uh, figure it out later. And also, um, uh, like like in situations, but well, well, you just gotta get a feel for what you do, and you gotta get a feel for the arrow keys and how, and you just gotta know exactly how to do it. I got it on my phone too. You can just get it on your phone, but then you tap up and down, and it gets confusing. You just sign that you gotta get used to. It. So sometimes the pink ghost would have come down there and then gone down to that dead end thing, in which case it's okay. I know that I've already told you that, I'm just reminding you. See, you are learning some stuff. See, you're learning how to play Pac-Man. I just kidding, but honestly, this game is really good because it it really does increase, like, your brain. Well, it increase. I don't know. I, I think that makes you smarter because it is making you have strategy. Uh, once uh, on this one show, someone was just like, oh, shooting games help you improve in the skills that you're getting in the shooting game. And then, and then, my dad completely misinterpreted that. I don't particularly like shooting games. But, um, and he said, oh, dude, shooting games will make you more violent. That's what he just said. And he was just, and I was just like, oh, I messed that whole thing up there. And I was just like, no, that's not what he said. And he said, yes, that's exactly what he said. He said that it'll increase what you did. I was like, no, no, what he meant by shooting games will help you increase in what you're doing is that shooting games will help you increase your ability to strategize and it'll sharpen your brain and your aim and all that. Not to mention that there are some people in the world who just want to hurt people. And I'd rather see them getting that anger out in games than actually doing it. So I think that shooting games are okay as long as you know, like, don't go out and shoot people in real life. But I don't think that, I don't think that I need to explain that to you. Sometimes in the middle of the game, my, my Pac-Man just does stop following me, in which case you just gotta quickly click on the game again to regain control. Oh hey, I'm doing it with my left hand. I can only do it with my right hand. I am ambidextrous. I mean, I can equally do things well with my left and my right hand. See, when you have multiple ghosts coming through there, chances are one of them is going to come down that passageway, so don't fall for that. But, um... But, uh, yeah, some people don't believe that I'm ambidextrous. My grade, my third grade teacher always made me write with one hand, my right hand, which happened to be the slightly better one of the time. But when I write with one hand for too long, I just get tired, and then I just use the other one. 
that my third grade teacher wasn't letting me do that because why the frick not? Oh, I don't need to go down that way, there's no more. I just didn't get it. He was just not letting me use my other dog. But anyway, yeah, this, it's okay to be different, remember that. It's okay, it's okay to be ambidextrous, especially, that's a very good skill. Sometimes you'll cut close with that one, it goes down there, I haven't really had much difficulty though. Um, yeah, I just didn't get it, and once uh, once uh, someone, I'm not going to say who, uh, asks to me, like, um, which hand do you, she just asked, I was trying to say I'm ambidextrous, and I was writing with my... I was writing with both hands, and then for some reason, I guess they thought that I was just trying to write with both hands, and I was like, wait, and I was like, wait, I have an idea, wait, are you left-handed or right-handed? And I'm just like, no, you're missing the entire point. The entire point is that I can write with both. And, and that doesn't mean with, like, a skill like controlling the keyboard, like in here, it, it, does, it doesn't mean that for situations like this, like... If my left hand is slightly worse at working the keyboard here, it doesn't mean that I'm right-handed. It just means that I hadn't practiced the skill enough with my left hand. Like, they, they, they just don't understand what it means to be ambidextrous. And once I just wrote my name with both hands, and then they stared at it for a good, like, 20 seconds, and then just said, the right hand is better. And see, and see in uh, level 5, you gotta switch up the pattern there, like I just did, because that happens. But, uh, and, and I was just like, no. <laughs> Of course, my handwriting isn't going to be precisely identical. That, like, it, it's pretty much impossible. Anytime that you write a word... Anytime that you write a word, it's guaranteed to not be... It, to be different than any other time that someone else had tried to write the word. Like, it can't be exactly identical. I just say that goes because I want the point. See? <laughs> anyway, and like... like I just didn't get it. I just didn't get what they were going at. Oh, shoot. What am I doing? There we go. There we go. Just gonna quickly pause and restart again. We're back. Okay, so. Yeah, sorry about the footage. Can I zoom in at all? Can I fix this up at all? Oh, that's actually much better. Uh, it's just, it falls down a bit. Shoot! I don't know what I'm doing. Shoot! I messed up the pattern because I was too busy. Wait. Wait! Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, you, you can kind of see it there, I think. I think it's good enough. It's good enough, ain't it? Why did I eat that power pellet right there? Go down! I was hitting down. It wasn't letting me go down. Jeez. Shoot, camera's going wonky. Hey, I'm just gonna finish this level. Thought I missed a pellet there for a moment. Shoot! Dang it! Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on, camera. Come on, camera. Come on. Come on, camera. Why? I don't know what my next break is, because I've only ever made it to level 9, and I don't get another break then. Okay, come on. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. Come on. Come on, man! What the frick? Okay, I got. I gotta hold my camera like this with my hand. <sighs> oh, shoot, I need to concentrate. You suck, camera. You suck, camera. You suck. I just came, camera. You, you, you're amazing, and you really helped me. But dang it! I need to find something solid for it to stand on. What if I just put it on top of this pillow? Does that do anything? No, now it's too high! Okay, do you know what? I think that we kind of did enough. So, yeah. So, sorry that the camera work there sucked. I just don't have my tripod, like I said. But anyway, so... Well, thanks for sticking around, anyway.
Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like. So I know that you enjoyed. If you didn't like it, please dislike. So I know that you did enjoy. Leave a comment down below if you liked how I can feel lost to guess motivation and encourage me. If you didn't like it, please leave a comment down below saying why you didn't like it. So I can prove it next time I otherwise won't be able to live. And just guarantee your dislike as if we were like. And subscribe so that you know my next video. Excuse me. And subscribe so that you know my next video comes out. Thanks again so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Oh.